I can't tell you how good it feels. It's, uh, it's been too long. It's been 18 months since we've seen the boys. The boys are now starting to turn up in the camp and just seeing, seeing them face to face again. I've obviously seen them a lot of times on Zoom and uh, uh, on the computer, but uh, and watching them play from a di afar. But seeing them uh, personally up up and close, it's fantastic. A long process because uh, you know you're talking with the clubs every every week, the, the changing in restrictions and, and everything with COVID, and also then you're, you're talking to the individual about his own personal um, own personal way. So, look, it's a it's a for me it's a fantastic squad. It's a one with a lot of depth and uh, a lot of quality, and it's one that I'm uh, extremely looking forward to getting on the tra on the training pitch with. It is what it is, and it's uh, <clears throat> four games in 12 days after 18 months uh, not being together. It's going to be a fantastic camp. Uh, as I said, the, you know, by the by the, this weekend we'll have 15 players, and the rest of the boys will arrive in the FIFA window on the 31st. So, you know, it's just uh, it'll be great to get everyone back together. You can already see the energy just from the handful of boys that are here now. That uh, you know, just to put that Australian polo shirt back on is, uh, you know, there's a huge excitement about it. From my past experiences and, and <clears throat> when I reflect a lot of times back on, you know, my generation and my era is, you know, the senior boys are crucial in, in, in helping the young boys uh, settle in quickly but also with their role. And, uh, you know, Ron Tonyuk has had a fantastic season at the Mariners. It's a kid that I've <clears throat> really liked for a long time. Um, and he's really stepped up this season and, and, and has done a fantastic job for, for the Mariners. But uh, you now I just looked at the kid. He's, he's only he's three years older, too old to be an Olympian. He's 24 years of age. He's he's in that uh, age group and age bracket that is uh, ready to step up to the next level. You now, when you speak to a, a new debutant and or someone who's coming into camp for the first time, it's uh, you get a real buzz. I'm getting goosebumps now talking about it because I think uh, when I originally sent uh, uh, the letter to about Ruan coming into camp. Uh, they, they took it as Ollie Roos and they thought I'd made a mistake of his age because he's three, three days too old for the Ollie Roos. So, oh, Arnie, I think you made a mistake, mate. He's, uh, you know, he's three days too old for the Ollie Roos. So I said, no, no, this isn't for the Ollie Roos, this is for the Soccer Roos. And uh, Alan Stadjic was extremely proud, you know, about it because he was like, Arnie, oh, he fully deserves it. He's had a great season. And, uh, and when I rang uh, Ruan, it was a bit like, really? Uh, me, me for the Soccer Roos? Oh wow, my mum's going to be so proud, and uh, that's what it is when you when you get selected for the soccer is because I know I've said this before and I'm, I bang on about it, but it's just such a when you look at the data and you look at the stats and the numbers, 606 players have ever played for the, the Socceroos in a hundred years. That's how hard it is to play for the Socceroos, so it's always a special thing. You know, I just hope the whistle still works. It's been that long since I've blown it, so. Um, now look, it's, if there's one thing that's really frustrated me through COVID is not being able to be a, get onto the pitch because anyone who knows me the way I am, it's, uh, I just love getting on the field and, and help coaching kids and helping players. And, uh, you know, and that hasn't been possible for the last 18 months. So, you know, the first session is going to be, uh, I'll be a bit rusty, but uh, by the second session, I think I'll, I'll be back and I'll be fine. It'll be like getting back back onto an old bike. My expectations is four wins. <clears throat> uh, every time we go on the pitch, it's, it's about a winning mentality and winning. And, uh, you know, with the way the rankings are uh, with FIFA now, you, you get a rankings that gets upgraded or uh, downgraded after every, every result. And it's important for our rankings that we win all four uh, for the next round, for the third uh, phase. So, you know, it's, uh, every game is important. So it's uh, my expectations are great performances, great energy and, uh, uh, a, a, a team that'll make the nation proud.